Hi friends, watch this video for three quick, easy, and most importantly, delicious recipes. With a little time, you can cook and eat a nutritious meal, rather than opting for junk food, processed, or unhealthy food. How about this first pizza recipe with a difference, a no-dough base? Wash and grate a zucchini, and place the gratings into a clean cheesecloth. Squeeze to remove the moisture. This is an important step to avoid your base becoming soggy. Once fully drained, place the gratings into a clean bowl. Add two tablespoons of wholemeal flour and stir. Wholemeal flour helps to boost digestive health. It feeds your gut good bacteria. Beat one egg in a separate bowl, then stir well into the zucchini bowl. Great fresh garlic, which not only enhances the flavor, but also gives an extra health boost. Season with salt and black pepper, then stir to fully combine the ingredients. Spoon the ingredients into an oiled pan and spread into a circular shape. Cover with a lid and fry on a low heat until the bottom browns, or for about seven minutes. Whilst that cooks, prepare the topping by firstly slicing tomatoes into small chunks. Place in a bowl, then grate some cheese. Finally, chop about half a cup of fresh parsley and add to the tomatoes. Parsley offers a bitter but fresh taste that enhances the flavor of homemade pizza. Time's up to flip the base. Once turned, add the tomato topping and spread evenly over the base. Then sprinkle a coating of grated cheese, cover and cook for a further five minutes. Once cooked, decorate with fresh basil to give a fragrant aroma and intense flavor to the pizza. Finally, slice, serve and enjoy this easy, tasty pizza with a twist. Here's a different base for a pizza, this time made with potatoes. Wash four to five potatoes well as we will be cooking them with their skins on. Then fill a pan of cold water and place on the stove in readiness for the potatoes. To cook the potatoes faster, cut them in half or quarters for large potatoes. Place the potatoes in the pan, add salt and boil for around 30 minutes. Adding salt enhances the flavor of the potatoes and makes them taste even more delicious. Meanwhile, prepare the vegetables by cutting them in half. Slice the zucchinis and eggplants in half, then through the middle. Here's a handy hack to remove seeds from a bell pepper. Simply cut around the stalk and pull for a no mess. Easy removal of the small seeds. Score the eggplants and zucchinis so as the flesh cooks evenly and to give a tasty caramelized golden brown flavor. Then evenly place the vegetables on a parchment-lined baking sheet, making sure there's no overlapping. Roast at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for between 30 to 40 minutes. Whilst they're roasting, prepare the final toppings of grated cheese and slices of tomato. Cut into circles or semicircles. Remove the roasted vegetables, place in a bowl and leave to cool. Just enough time to drain the boiled potatoes and place evenly on a parchment covered baking sheet.
Now comes the fun part. Mash the potatoes until a base layer forms. Then smooth out and spread to make an evenly thick round base. Drizzle olive oil over the base and a sprinkle of salt. Add dried basil so the whole dish is infused with their flavor. Then cook in the preheated oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. This allows time to prepare the cooled vegetable topping. Firstly, remove the baked skins from the tomatoes, eggplants, peppers, and onions. Then mash the flesh on a hard surface, scrape into a bowl, and mix well. The skins are a different texture from the flesh, and if not removed, tiny chunks will form instead of a smooth mixture. Now is the time to prepare the dressing. Grate two garlic cloves over a small dish and add olive oil. Add a seasoning of salt, black pepper, dried basil, and mix well. Then pour the aromatic, infused dressing to the topping and stir well to combine the ingredients. Remove the potato base from the oven and spread the vegetable topping evenly on top. Sprinkle fresh lemon juice, which pairs perfectly with the sauce. Finally, place the tomato slices, then grated cheese on top and bake for about 10 minutes. This low-calorie potato pizza base is gluten, wheat, and yeast-free, the perfect healthy base for potato lovers. The natural starchiness of the potatoes form a sturdy, crispy, vegan pizza base. Slice up, serve, and enjoy this tasty, healthy vegetable pizza. Eat immediately for the best texture. However, leftovers can be stored in an airtight container in the fridge for later. Check out this quick to make crispy broccoli snack. Broccoli is a superfood, owing to not only its nutritional benefits, but also its anti-cancer and anti-inflammatory properties. After thoroughly washing a head of broccoli, divide into florets and remove from the main stalk. Place into a pan of cold water and blanch. Blanching broccoli brightens the vibrant green color and ensures that the middle is cooked before roasting. Then drain and evenly spread the florets on parchment-covered baking tray. Gently press down on each broccoli floret to smash them. If they stick, gently lift them using your hands or a spatula. Generously sprinkle freshly grated cheese over each floret. Place the baking sheet in the oven and bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit until the broccoli develops golden brown spots. Allow the broccoli to cool for a couple of minutes before serving. These can be enjoyed as an appetizer, snack, or side dish, warm or cold. Hard to believe something so healthy can be so delicious. This last recipe will have you craving for more. Baked apple chips are a healthy snack that will satisfy your craving for something sweet and crunchy. This simple recipe has three stages, slice, bake, and eat. Remove the apple cores and slice the apples thinly. Line your baking sheets with parchment paper, then line the apples up. They can touch, but don't let them overlap. This snack recipe is not only easy, but inexpensive and perfect for little ones too. 
Sprinkle with sugar and powdered cinnamon. Adding cinnamon makes them taste sweeter and keeps blood glucose levels in check. Cinnamon is a great combination with apple and can help lower cholesterol too. Bake for up to two hours at 200 degrees. The final baking time really depends on the moisture level of the apples. When the slices are crisp, they're ready. If they're still a little soft after two hours, keep baking, they'll get there. Store any leftover chips in an airtight container for up to three days. A great healthy TV binging snack, don't you think? Thanks for watching. See you next time.